What is the difference between having your code in the finally section of try catch compared to just having your code after the try catch block? So the finally block in try catch runs whether the try section runs or whether the catch section runs. So in my example here, I have file descriptor where I open a file and then I read the contents of a file. And if an error is thrown, I just log that error. And in this finally section here, I can close that file. So let me put this at UT. F8 so the try run successfully if I run no test file open successfully from this side here the content is read successfully and then the finally section runs so I have file closed let's say I intentionally throw an error with UTF9 if I run this now file open successfully then an error is thrown and we catch that error here and we log that error and we still have the finally block running so the finally runs whether the try runs or whether the catch runs but then why do I need to have this code in the finally section if I can just have it after the try catch block, because this is still going to do the same thing. If I run no test again, we have file open successfully. We catch an error and then we run the code after the try catch section. And if this was successful, let me put the correct encoding. We have file open successfully and file close from this code afterwards. So why would you need the finally block for this? Well, the simple answer for this is that there are some cases where the code after your try catch block will Will not run but when you have your code in the finally section you can ensure that that code will always run and i'm going to give you three cases where that can happen the first case is when you use return in a function so in this function let's say after i read the contents i return the contents here now as you know with the return keyword in javascript when you use return javascript is going to exit from that function so when you use return here that means this code at the bottom will never be reached let's try it out so now if I run this, we have file open successfully coming from here. Then we read the content and we return the content. So because we have exited from this function, now this code after the try catch will not run. But if we have this code in the finally, it will still run even after we have used the return keyword. Let's try that. So if I run node test, we have file open successfully and then the finally runs where we are able to close the file. So we have file close. So here, when we use the finally, which is generally used for cleanup effects that may have been triggered in your try or catch block we can be sure that that cleanup will run even when we use a return keyword now another case where using finally can be useful is when you don't even have a catch block in the first place so i'm going to comment this and i'll keep this code again after the try catch block and then let's say here i use utf9 which is the wrong encoding now an error is going to be triggered but because we are not catching that error javascript is just going to terminate the execution of our code let's try that out so if I run no test now, okay, now we have an error. First, we have file open successfully. Then an error is thrown because we passed an argument of UTF-9. And because we did not catch this error, the execution of our code stops. And because the execution of our code stops, this cleanup here is not run. But if we have this, in the finally block, even if we have an error that was uncaught, this code will still run. Let's try that out. So if I run this again, at the beginning here, we have file opened successfully. Then an error is thrown, which we did not catch. But then you can see that here we still have file closed. We are still able to run our cleanup. Then we can now see the error that we did not catch. But then let's say we actually catch that error. But then in the catch block, we still do something that throws an error in this case i'm just manually throwing an error but maybe at this point you attempt to perform a certain logic and that still throws an error now if we have our code after the try catch again let me put this here now when we run this so first we have file open successfully which is from here then an error is thrown and we catch that error but then after we catch that error this new error is thrown now because this new error is thrown and we didn't catch this new error the javascript execution stops at this point so this code here will not be run but then let's say i have this in finally we we'll see the difference again I run this. Okay, now we have file open successfully. We have the first error that we caught, but then in the catch block, we throw another error which is uncaught, but we still have file 
closed. Our cleanup in the finally section still runs even though an error was thrown in the catch before we now see the error that we forgot to catch. So with the finally block, you ensure that your logic or your cleanup still runs whether the try runs successfully or the catch runs successfully. And that is the difference between having your code or your cleanup in the finally section versus having it after the try catch block now one interesting question i got when i shared this video on tiktok was when you use the return keyword in the try section and you also use the return keyword in the finally which one is javascript going to use so here i'm going to have const content and i'm just going to log the content so if i don't return hello and let me take this back to utf8 and i run this so here we have file open successfully file closed and this is the content of the file if I open example.txt you can see this is the content here but then if I use return hello in the finally the question is would JavaScript use this return or this return well let's check it out so if I run the test well, as you can see, JavaScript uses the return from the finally block. So since the finally block runs afterwards, then it makes sense that JavaScript uses what is returned from that instead of what is returned from the try block or what is returned from the catch block. Anyways, I hope this video helps you understand the cases where the finally block can be useful. Of course, all of this still depends on how you structure your code. You can structure your code in certain ways where you don't have to use the finally block. But I hope that these three examples shows you cases where where it can be useful and much more effective compared to having your code after the try-catch block.